Executive Heman Sikka, the President of the Farm Equipment Sector at Mahindra & Mahindra joins in now to talk about that. Mr. Sikka, good morning. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Tell us a little bit about rural sentiment. Has it picked up, recovered to pre-COVID levels and what do the next couple of months look like? So good morning, Sonia. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, clearly, as you rightly said, uh, this was our highest ever sale in a given month. So we are very happy with our performance. We have sold 47,100 tractors in the domestic market. And even on the exports front, things are looking good for you because certain markets that we operate in have done very well for us. So this was our highest ever exports as well uh, from here. Overall, the sentiment is very positive and that's why overall the industry has also done very well. Uh, YTD, the industry growth in H1 has been 10.5%, whereas in Mahindra, we have grown by 12%. So we have gained some uh, share points there. Uh, with You know that monsoon has been fourth in a row, uh, very lucky for us. Uh, it was 106% uh, of the LPA, even though I would say that the spatial distribution is something that could have been better. In certain states like Bihar, Jharkhand, uh, pockets of Uttar Pradesh, we have had deficient rainfall, and these are all paddy areas. So if you leave, leave these areas out, I think overall the country has got very good rainfall. And this is very good because going forward also for Rabi, we have very high reservoir, reservoir levels. The reservoir levels are 17% higher than long period average. And the moisture content is also very good. So is that the Kharif crop will be a little less, but I think it will be more than made up uh, in the Rabi crop. So overall, I feel that the sentiment uh, is holding up. It's very positive in the rural areas. Uh, Hemant, good morning. You, you did say that your market share went up, uh, but you know, even escorts numbers uh, looked quite strong, uh, about 38%. And now it has Japanese parentage, of course, as well. So uh, A, do you see this market getting bigger and bigger? And B, do you think uh, you will eventually have to give up some market share as uh, perhaps escorts catches up or will you maintain this market share? I mean, why will we give up any market share? I mean, we are working no, no, so if the hard. Incrementally, if incrementally, while you keep doing well, if uh, the competitor who has a slightly lower base, you know, goes up. So, uh, you know, while I'm saying that, you know, your overall numbers go up, but overall in terms of percentage, I'm saying that, you know, that uh, the I mean, other player can I, mean, I would say that uh, uh, the tractor industry in India is highly competitive. I mean, it's not that uh, we have Kubota uh, coming in majority with the squad. We have John Deere for many, many years uh, in this company. We have Case New Holland. Uh, we have massive brand here. So uh, tractor industry is highly competitive uh, in India. And Mahindra with both our brands doing very well. Mahindra and Swaraj, uh, both are very loved by the customer. So we are holding on our market share. In fact, this year, YTD, we have gained 0.6% market share. We are upwards of 41% now. So what I would see is that our teams are very charged. The customers love her. We have a great channel. Our teams are highly motivated. We have new products coming in. Just want to talk about our new launch that we did a couple of months back, which is the Uvotech Plus. Uh, our uh, the capacities are falling short to feed that market, and we are kind of tripling our capacity on this particular model. So I think we are holding on uh, well, Anuj, and uh, hopefully we will continue to do very well going forward. Mm. <clears throat> Mr. Sikha, hi. Uh, good morning, Prashant here. You know, we just had the, uh, the the FADA spokesperson with us earlier on the show uh, on the retail sales. Uh, and uh, they they say that uh, uh, tractor sales at the retail level in September fell 1.5%. Uh, so, what, what's and he also kind of specifically uh, spoke about, uh, according to him, that, uh, you know, rural sector is in a bit of distress. There is stress in that space. Uh, his words, not mine. Uh, how would you respond uh, to it, sir? So, Prashant, uh, clearly September market is always like a continuation with the October month because the, the festive season doesn't work like that. I mean, we had a few days of Navratri in September. We had a few days of Navratri in October and then the Dashera and, you know, uh, kind of rounds off with uh, Diwali. Uh, so, this is a continuation of the whole festive season. So, in the industry, how we look at it, starting from Navratri to Diwali, this is like one big period for the whole industry. So whether this is few days in September, few days in October, doesn't matter. So the industry would kind of build the numbers to the tractor, looking at the whole industry and looking at the pull from the customers. The retails may happen something 1% here and there in September. It will be more than made up in the month of October. So I won't read too much into that month-on-month -month data because sometimes, I mean, if you compare with last year, uh, Diwali was not in the same month as we have this month and the Navratri uh, period were also very different. So I would say this is just few days here and there in the month, nothing much to read about uh, more in that data. The, would you say the inventory uh, in the pipeline, in the channel is uh, at, at uh, similar levels 
uh, compared to historical levels or is it higher? I, I would say compared to last year, we are a little better because last year we were really low on inventory. You know, we had all kinds of supply chain issues. COVID was uh, still an issue uh, last year. Uh, so last year, we were very touch and go on our inventory. We were down to our bones. This year, we are better placed on inventory. But on a long period average, if you compare Prashant, we are okay in terms of inventory. We are not holding too much stock. Uh, it's better than last year, but it's still very, very healthy stock that we carry in our channel. Okay, so healthy stock on the channel. Uh, would you want to scale up your tractor growth guidance? I mean, uh, uh, you know, m and had put out a guidance of 3 to 5% growth for the industry in FY23. Uh, given that things have improved quite a bit, do you think that you can do better than that? And what about the next year? So I think it will slightly move up because in the latest estimates on growth released by uh, TMA, which is Tractors and Mechanization Association, uh, we have come up with a 5% plus growth number there. Uh, so I think that 3 to 5 band is now 5% plus in that sense. Okay, so fair to say that m and is now raising their tractor growth guidance from... 3 to 5 percent band earlier to 5 percent plus? Yes. Okay, that is a big positive to hear. Now, the reason I asked is because, you know, uh, there are still some concerns about, say, higher inflation, uh, higher interest rates, and that perhaps could dampen demand in the months to come. Is that a fear? Or do, do you think that, uh, you know, now there is so much pent up demand as well that th this 5 percent growth is possible? I, I won't say there is a pent up demand. I think all that pent up demand has been uh, serviced well uh, by us and other players in the industry. Uh, how I would see it is that interest rate and upcycle is always a dampener for uh, any industry that you would say, especially the industry uh, like uh, auto and tractors, which are like heavily financed. Uh, so uh, these are red flags uh, coming into the future. And if the interest rate cycle keeps going up, uh, we will have to monitor this very carefully. But Right now, I'm not seeing any concern on that. The demand is still very strong. Uh, but if the interest cycle continues to harden much faster from here, uh, maybe we'll have some kind of uh, issues on demand. Uh, but right now, I don't see any such issues. Okay, uh, no such issues on demand. Uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about what the average run rate for tractor sales could look like over the next few months. Of course, this time around, uh, we have the festive season as well. But will you be able to maintain this 45, 47,000 units over the next few months as well? So, Sonia, again, uh, unlike the auto industry where uh, you can pull on month on month, the tractor industry has to go with season. It has to go with festivities and also the cropping pattern. Mm. Uh, so, uh, I mean, there are months when uh, the tractor industry does very low retails because nothing is happening on the farmland. And there are months where uh, there's so much activity on the farmland in terms of land preparation uh, and the haulage segment starts kicking in. Uh, that the demand just shoots up. So I won't say that month on month the demand uh, will be consistent, but overall the industry will be 5% plus, and we believe that we will hold on to and in fact gain a little bit on a market share. Okay, one final question then. Uh, you know, the EBIT margins for the tractor business had fallen to about 16% in quarter one. Of course, that was because raw material prices were also higher. But now with input cost cooling off, uh, when can we expect the margins to get back to those 18-20% levels that you used to enjoy, say, a year or two ago? Sonia, yeah, you know it so well. I mean, uh, the whole uh, commodity cycle has been on fire for last almost two years now. Uh, very difficult to pass on the entire commodity increases that we get on the input side to our customers in one go. So I think we have played it very well. We have taken uh, repeated price increases. Uh, our last price increases was uh, just a couple of months back. And we continue to monitor how the commodity cycle is shaping up. Uh, it's clearly come down from where we were in the month of April, May. And if it still goes down, I think our margins will uh, come back uh, uh, very quickly. But on the price increase also, I think there are some more price increases that the industry will have to take in the remainder of this year. So a combination of price increases and commodity softening uh, will bring our margins up. Uh, we continue to be the most uh, profitable uh, uh, tractor company and we intend to keep doing that on a regular basis. Okay, just one final question. This, you know, this 5% guidance, now you are expecting it to go, you know, the industry to grow at 5% plus, right, for FY23. Yeah. So what industry, about, yes. what about m and what would the growth look like? So I, I think, uh, Sonia, we would be in the same range because we will uh, maintain our market share uh, upwards of uh, uh, 40%. And in fact, as I said, we will gain some market share over last year. So I would say that our guidance would be uh, in, in the similar pattern.
All right. Uh, very optimistic statements there, Mr. Sikha. Thanks a lot for joining in. And the stock is also reacting well. Uh, so that's uh, m and stays uh, raising their guidance on the tractor segment. Earlier it was 3 to 5%, but now they're saying that the industry will do 5% plus and they will maintain their market share of 40% plus in the tractor space. In fact, we will be speaking to one more manufacturer from the farm equipment space, Bharat Madan of Escorts Kubota. We'll pose the same question to them on whether they raise their own guidance as well.